Over the last several years, I've been educating myself on how to reduce waste and live a more sustainable life. I've done my research about the food industry, about buying sustainable clothing, and of course about the beauty industry. But one area in my life that I've never really considered is my art and the materials I use. So today I just wanted to scratch the surface and start that conversation. Hello there and welcome to my channel. Before I get started with my eco-friendly spiel, I just want to talk about the artwork for a minute or so here. So at the beginning I included a couple clips of the brainstorming process and my little crusty sketches and everything as I was trying to figure out the pose and the composition of the drawing. So pretty much the initial concept I had was to have some sort of tree or plant thing growing out of someone's spine, yes I know, or you know something of that nature, and then the roots of the plant would be kind of spreading through the person's body. Um, I was kind of imagining like Aang's arrows that he has on his body, but like roots instead. But after some trial and error, that really did not work out. So after that, I brought in my sketches into Procreate so I could flesh out the idea just a little bit more. And then the whole figure sitting on the earth idea popped into my head and I decided to just roll with that. One last thing that I do want to mention about the painting as well is that it is my first full-fledged mixed-media watercolor slash colored pencil piece that I've created and I really like the results of mixing the two having the watercolor underneath and then just touching some things up with my colored pencils so I had a pretty good time painting this and creating it and anyways I think that is it so let's get on to the topic at hand a little disclaimer, as this video goes on, I am certainly not all-knowing on the topic and nor do I know the ins and outs of every single art medium, so I can obviously only speak about my own experiences. Okay, so what is the problem? Why is art so non-eco-friendly? Well, there is quite a lot of things to consider depending on what mediums you use, what materials you tend to use, and the full life cycle of the product from beginning production all the way to the end when you've used it up and you decide to toss it out. So the most obvious culprit that everyone probably thinks of of waste is the packaging of what the materials come in if they're wrapped in plastic and of course if the materials themselves have plastic like a marker Obviously, the barrel of it is some some form of plastic or something. And, of course, the shipping waste as well. If you buy things online, get shipped, there's always some kind of wrapping or whatnot in shipping. So, another big source of waste that many may not consider is not only the packaging, but on the other hand of the production side of things. So, are the actual materials, the ingredients in the materials, are they made of toxic or non-toxic ingredients? So, for example, many spray paints have that big old toxic label smacked on top of them. And you obviously need to use spray paints and things like that in very well ventilated areas to prevent inhaling those toxic fumes. Well, if you end up going outside and using those same spray paints, most of that is going to end up in the air and it may affect other animals that are walking around wherever you are outside. It can get into the ground, the grass, and of course in local water sources. So I'm obviously guilty of using those kind of materials that are not exactly good for the environment and are frankly quite wasteful. But really the whole point of this conversation is to get the ball rolling and figure out some sort of solutions and alternatives. So the biggest solution is to simply use up all of the products that we already have at hand. If we start throwing away unused products just to purchase brand new ones that kind of defeats the purpose and ends up creating way more waste than there was originally. Another solution is to dispose of the packaging and toxic materials properly. 
Like, for example, you can't just recycle whole dried up markers or fine liners or anything like that because there's all sorts of weird things and ink and other stuff in the barrel that is not recyclable. And I know no one wants to get messy and disassemble the markers just so you can recycle the barrel. So I'm going to go through a small list of ideas of problems and solutions to the most common art materials that I use at least. So paper is one of the most obvious ones, and you can, of course, opt for already recycled paper rather than buying something that's, I don't know, sourced from trees or something like that. I don't know. And there's also weird paper that's like made out of stone or some other things or even like plastic paper that's been recycled. And I haven't personally tried any of those things, but that is always an option and an alternative. Now for pencils and colored pencils, I don't know, I guess you can always look up the brand, see if they're ethically sourcing their wood, but I don't, I don't know, I don't really have ideas for that. You can always use mechanical pencils and colored pencils. It's up to you, I guess. And then when it comes down to fine liners and pens and stuff of that nature for doing line art and whatever, one thing you could do instead of constantly throwing out fine liners you could switch over to a refillable dip pen, or of course, you could go the brush and ink route and simply get some ink that's bottled in some sort of glass bottle, which is much better than a plastic bottle, and then, I don't know, use a brush or ink pen or something like that instead of using fine liners. And for markers, I would say to definitely find brands that offer ink refills. Now, I know Copic used to be one of the only brands that offered refills, but I've recently bought some markers from Blick's own marker line on their website, and I am quite sure you can check it out for yourself, but I'm pretty sure that they also offer refills for their markers. And now moving on to the different types of paints. So I primarily use watercolors and occasionally acrylic, but not really so much anymore. So for watercolors, they already mostly come packaged in metal tubes, which is great to try and avoid as much plastic as possible. I know they also come in either half pans, watercolor pans, and whatnot that use plastic. But yeah, that's really all I have for watercolors. But I feel like acrylic paint is the big culprit in the paint section. So if you don't already know, the paint itself is made out of acrylic plastic. And that is the biggest point of waste that comes from acrylic paint. If you are not disposing properly of your already used or dried up paint. So on their website, Golden has a couple resources on how to properly dispose of acrylic paint on their website that I'll link below, so I'm not going to exactly go into that, but just so you know, it's really not good to simply wash down acrylic paint in the drain, because of course it goes into the water source and then goes wherever that water goes, and it also can clog up your drain if it dries up, and all that not so lovely stuff. And then, of course, there is also oils, but I literally have never used oil paints in my life before, so I'm not going to speak on that topic. And then, if you're thinking about switching to only digital art, that's great and all, and it has its pros and also cons. So, digital art obviously saves you from buying or throwing away excessive materials, but it's not exactly 100% eco-friendly either. You, of course, have to use electricity or power or charge your devices somehow. And then after that, it also opens up the conversation about how the devices themselves are manufactured and how to properly dispose of tech waste, which is slowly becoming a problem. Now, most of the points that I brought up usually come down to What's the more convenient option? Obviously, having a fine liner that you can bring anywhere, you can travel with, is very convenient. And on the other hand, the option I offered myself is to get a liquid ink in a bottle and get a separate brush or pen or whatever 
And obviously you don't want to carry around that. So it comes down to the more convenient option. And again, I myself am guilty of tossing things in the garbage, washing old acrylics down the drain and whatnot. But the whole point of this video is to start that conversation of being a more sustainable artist. My goal with this video is to plant the bug or rather the seed in the art community and get the conversation started. So I'm definitely not saying to sacrifice all of your favorite art supplies to Mother Earth for a more environmental option, but do keep your mind open next time you go out shopping for new art supplies. Well, that's all I have for today. Check out my Instagram for more extra goodies, and thank you so much for watching. Stick around and subscribe for more if you're interested, and I'll see you later. Toodles!